Hello, welcome to Miniature Realms, my name is Stuart, and welcome to another Flames of War painting tutorial. So today's offering is an American parachute infantryman. The miniatures you'll see in the photos today and the ones I'm painting are from Battlefront, so the official Flames of War miniatures, but they are 15mm scale for those of you who aren't familiar with the game. The actual miniature I'll be concentrating on is one of their softer plastic miniatures found in the company and the platoon um, sets. And they also have hard plastic um, American parachute regiments that come in the Hit the Beach starter set. Now, I have a whole company of these to paint along with add-ons. So we're looking sort of 80 to 100 miniatures. So I'm looking for a solution that's relatively quick and easy to reproduce. Very much a tabletop scheme, but I like to add some highlights in order to make them pop and stand out on the tabletop. Now, the miniatures have been primed black and then zenithal highlighted using an airbrush from above with white and then dry brushed. Um, I use this zenithal underpainting method quite a lot, especially when I tend to base coat a lot of my miniatures with citadel contrast paints or thinner glazes. And this allows the natural shadow and highlights of the miniature to do some of the work for you. I'll pop a little link above if you're unf unfamiliar with that. I've done a short video on zenithal highlighting and underpainting and it takes you through the process a little bit. You, you don't need to do that. And if you are painting with um, out an airbrush, um, painting your miniature grey will work fine. Grey and a dry brush even better to reproduce some of the, the effects that I've, I've done in this video. So we're starting off with some contrast fire slayer flesh. It tends to be the kind of the mid-tone of the three fleshes that they do. Um, it's got a nice rich colour to it and I, and I tend to like it um, as my favourite go-to at the moment. Just applying it straight over this pre-highlighted miniature and it already looks pretty good. Next up, I wanted to base the miniature in something that would save a lot of time and I found a solution with Contrast Garak Sewer. And I'm basically covering the whole of the miniature now apart from the helmet. So all of the, of the uniform, all of the webbing, the boots as well, and it gives a nice brown base layer, which forms a really, really nice basis for highlighting all the different points later, as you'll see as the video progresses. For the helmet, I've based it with contrast military on green. Again, this soaks into the detail quite well, the net and the scrim, which we'll come back to later and add a little bit more detail. Next up is Contrast Black Legion. It's one of the newer contrast colours. It's a slightly darker, richer black than the Black Templar black that they do. And I find it a perfect way to base the rifle and the hand grenade. Um, it doesn't take much to highlight afterwards to give you that kind of blued weapon effect. And with that effectively being the base coat down, you could put the miniature on the, t on the base now and use it in game. Absolutely no problem at all. But we're going to continue and highlight the flesh using Vallejo Noctura range fairy flesh. Now returning to contrast fire slayer flesh, I'm just going to add a little bit back where the highlights are a little bit bright, so underneath the nose, cheekbones, and on the backs of the hands and things like that. This will be needed on some miniatures more than others and very much to the eye, so add it as and where is needed. Now using model colour US Olive Drab, we're actually going to start making that uniform look the correct colour. So leaving the brown in the recesses as the shadow, I'm going along and highlighting fairly large areas and picking out the green and, and turning the uniform into something that's a bit more recognisable. I then add a further highlight with model colour khaki and this really, really starts to make it pop and look like the way the uniform really should do. And then using model colour US Field Drab, I pick out all the webbing of the packs, the bags and belts and straps and all those little extras. And 
then model colour again. Green, grey and flat earth. I paint these in, in regular patterns on the little bits of fabric that are in the scrim on the top of the helmet. I have to thin that down and just put a thin layer of Nuln oil on top of the helmet, just letting it sink in between the, the gaps of where the netting would be on the scrim. You don't want it to pull too much, so make sure there's not too much on the brush. Now the faintest of dry brushes are needed now on the black metal areas, so the grenade and the gun. I want them to look blued and not metallic, so I'm being very, very delicate. And I've picked a very dull gunmetal colour, and this is scale colour, scale 75, black metal, but you could use any dark gunmetal colour. And there we are. He's added to his base with his compatriots. Um, it's a relatively simple paint scheme. I'm sure you realise that for the brevity of this painting tutorial. Um, but I'm quite happy with the way they look. They're very much gaming miniatures and a, and a tabletop standard. But they also do catch the eye. And it's a little bit more than just a, a flat colour and a wash, which can sometimes look a little bit murky and messy. And I quite like working my way up from a, from a darker colour where possible. And that, that initial zenithal pre-highlight and the all-in-one colour of the Garak Sur as a base really just made it very, very easy. The greens highlighted very, very easily for the uniform. And then all I needed to do was, was find a brown that matched for all the webbing and belts and things. It won't always be that easy on different uniforms for different armies, but this has definitely helped. And it will hopefully help me produce uh, a, a, this army in, in, in quicker time than it would for some of the miniatures I have to paint. Now, thanks very much for watching the video. I'd love to hear your comments and suggestions below. I've chosen the colours based on the Battlefront and Vallejo Colours of War book. Um, it definitely helped me um, make sure I pick at least, you know, just about the right colours for these things. Though I'm sure you can find other colours that match in your own ranges if you don't use model colour. Please do check out the other videos on the channel. I've recently posted an M4 Sherman painting tutorial, which is a little bit longer and a bit more detailed for this, for obvious reasons. And I will be doing lots more 15mm World War II Flames of War stuff in the future. Lots more different painting tutorials. I'll be working on the, the Germans to oppose this army at the same time. And I'll be moving on to North Africa afterwards. There will be lots of stuff to see in the future. So yeah, give the channel a subscription if that's something you might be interested in. In. If you like the video, give us a like. It really, really helps. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.